Here, we're going to work on a popular natural human resting posture, but with a few tweaks to maximize its benefits. Squat Largin is the perfect counterpose to Reclined Largin. From opening up in three directions, to squeezing up as tight as you can in a ball. Paired together, they cover the most bases of the body in lengthening tendons, unblocking meridians, and aiding posture. To set up, depending on your ability, you may want some sort of wedge for your feet. Trainers with enough heel height might work for you also, or possibly even sole steps if you have a pair. Alternatively, or additionally, you might want a counterweight nearby. I prefer one that isn't anchored down and not too heavy in order to keep the position active from my knees down. And like you have Velcro in between your legs, you want to put your feet and your knees both together and squat down. If your hands are free, hug your legs and drop your head to extend your neck. Now pull forward on your shins and drive your knees as far over your toes as possible. Take slow, deep breaths through your nose, but this time into your lower and upper back. Now you're gonna want to stay in this position for at least five minutes. I currently do 10 minutes, but you can do anything up to 30 minutes plus per day. Set a timer, put on something to listen to or call a friend, or try to meditate like a monk. Remember, benefits from the posture only start to take place once discomfort begins. So as long as you spend a good amount of time uncomfortable, changes will happen. Troubleshooting the position. If five minutes is too hard, then you may want to use a bigger wedge under your heels or a heavier weight to anchor off or do multiple sets to accumulate the time. I sometimes do reps within my 10 minutes of one minute with a weight in my hands and one minute without. The bladder meridian is the longest meridian in the body. It starts right between our eyes, goes over the top of the head, down the neck, the spine, the lower back, over the glutes, down the hamstrings, down the calves, and finally round the outside of the foot finishing in the pinky toes. When I think posterior chain, now I think bladder meridian. And remember, as meridians are lengthened and then held for extended periods of time, this encourages chi and blood flow. In the recline lodging, a big focus is the stretch on the bladder meridian at the back of the knee. In the squat lodging, we focus on stretching all the other parts of the bladder meridian, especially around the glutes, all the way up the spine, and the often neglected neck. How this differs from looking down at your phone all day is the way it really lengthens out the back of the neck and the chin stays tucked, activating all the upper back muscles that hold it in its aligned place. And if we focus on pulling the knees forwards over the toes, it really activates the shin part of the stomach meridian. And as you can see, God put a little squiggly lightning bolt right in the middle of the shin, like the barber did to your hairline when you were seven. So working along the shin in this way can really help with the front side of your ankle mobility. As well as that, it's a good massage for your stomach itself. The squat is a widely talked about position to work on in health and movement communities because it is anciently natural and aids with rest, recovery, digestion and defecation. In this large inversion, I found quite a unique take on it that I've found value in practicing, especially when paired with reclined lodging. Perhaps you will too.